Hey guys, uh, so today I'm going to show you how we can create lists in Python and uh, lists are really important for us to put lots of different data or lots of the same sort of data uh, in one sort of list and we, it's just got one name so it's like a variable uh, but this time it's going to have lots of things uh, for that variable name. Um, once again, what am I on about? Let's just dive in and see. So we're on Replit here, and we're going to create a new REPL. Once again, Python. And let's call this, uh, I'm going to call this Backpack. I'm going to call it Backpack Free, so I have a few of these. And create. Okay, so in the previous video, we saw how we could use conditional statements, that's if, elif, and else, um, to have certain things happen if a user makes a choice okay in a sort of adventure game that's what we're looking at so if we kind of build upon this idea of an adventure game um, we can use lists in python to create like a backpack okay so this is how you do it um, just like making any variable we have a name here so i'm going to call mine backpack but i could call it anything i could call it inventory i could call it rucksack i could call it bag um, it doesn't matter and as usual, when we're making variables, it's like an equal sign. But this time, when we use lists, uh, we don't use round brackets. We actually use square brackets, these things here. Okay, And this allows us to add multiple items of data into the variable backpack. And then it becomes a list. So let me show you. Is this? Imagine it's an adventure game, so we could have a sword. Okay, and I do a comma to separate out the data. So because these are strings, they must be in speech marks. Um, and a sword, I could have a torch, and then a comma, and let's have just one more item. Uh, let's have a shield. Okay, so my list called backpack contains a sword, torch, and shield. And if I use the print function, and then I put inside here, backpack and run this what we should see is appearing on here sword torch and shield so it will print the entire contents of my list called backpack okay so um but lists can be very clever they are used for many things especially in games um and often they are used like we can see here for backpacks and sometimes we want to just print out or display a particular item uh, on our screen, okay? Uh, so the way that we do that is we, each element of the list has what we call an index, okay? And that's like a little address of where it belongs. And computers always, when they count, okay, uh, they always start off at zero, all right? So the index where this lives this first item sword is index zero, torch is index one, and shield is index two. All right? Can be a bit confusing that because you kind of think it's humans. All right, we go one, two, three, but computers, all right, they go zero, one, two. All right. Um, so let me just sort of demonstrate something to you here. Uh, let's just screen snap uh, this bit here. Let's just show you. So, as I said before, this item here, okay, will be zero. This element here has an index of one. And this element here has an index of two. All right. So if I wanted to display on the screen, you know, for instance, torch, okay, I will refer to that as index one. All right. So let's demonstrate that to you. So if I go in here, print, okay, and I put in the name of my list, backpack, and this time, oh, not those, uh, these square brackets, okay, and I'm going to put the index number of what I want to put in there. So I put the name of the list, backpack, square brackets, and then I'm going to put in, I want to print out torch, so I'm going to put in index one, okay. So let's run that. We should see the whole list appear. And then we should see what is index one. So that's zero, that's one. Ah, I'm going to print out torch. And just for instance, let's have a look at number one, print, okay, backpack, and then put two. Let's run that. 
what will it do? Torch and shield. Okay, so lists, we use square brackets. Okay, we separate each piece of data out using a comma, and we to access them, we use the index. Okay, and that's a number that will start off from zero and then one and then two and so on. Okay, so um, the next thing that we would like to look at perhaps is, um, okay, how do we replace an item? All right, so for instance, in our adventure game, um, we would like to replace our sword with a dagger. Let's try that. So the way we do that, we do backpack, and we're gonna say, well, backpack item, um, so we're going to go zero, okay? So that's index zero from our backpack, which will be our sword, all right? Now, instead of that equaling sword, we are going to change it into a dagger, all right? We're going to replace our sword. We can only have one weapon in our game, so we're going to replace our sword with a dagger. So let's try printing out our backpack again. Oh, I can't spell today. Okay, so first time it will show sword, torch, shield. Then it's going to show torch, okay, backpack two, index two. We'll then put the word shield here. We're going to backpack zero, so that is this item here, will now equal dagger. And if we print out the whole lot again, let's run that, you will see now, as I said, sword, torch, shield, torch, shield, but now... Our sword is not even there anymore. It's now a dagger, torch, and shield. So that's how you can replace items, okay, using that technique. Okay, so what else can we do? Well, we can also uh, add items onto the end of our list. Okay, so to do that, we use something called append. All right, this word here, okay. Now, append means add on. That's what it means essentially in English. And that's what it's going to do to our list. It's going to append add on to our list. So we'll actually add it on to the end. You'll see that here. So I do backpack and then I do this full stop. You see that there? And then the word append, you'll see it's in purple. And then I'm gonna add my new item. So I'm gonna add a rabbit, okay? So I'm in my adventure game. I've got a, saw, uh, I've got a dagger, a torch and a shield, and now I'm gonna add into my backpack. I'm gonna stuff in there, okay, a rabbit, okay? And let's print out my backpack again. Let's see if it's changed. Let's run that. So now you'll see that we have a rabbit in our list as well. And that is using dot append to our list here. Okay. So um, what else can we do? Ah, well, lastly, let's look at this. There's quite a lot of things we can do with lists. And um, we'll do a bit more uh, in the next session, um, some really clever stuff with uh, lists. But finally, if we want to remove an item uh, from our list, so it's gone, completely gone. So perhaps we used it, okay? We used our torch up and it's burnt out and we want to get rid of it now from our list. So to do that, uh, it's actually very simple, but we use dot and then remove this time. And this time we're going to put in, so I'm going to take out my torch from my list. So we use backpack and then dot remove and then the name of the item we want to remove in that case. So let's see if this works. Uh, I need to print. Print my backpack. And now if we run it, you should see, yeah, look, it's now, my list has now got a dagger, a shield, and a rabbit. Torch has been taken out. And so lists like this are used often, as I say, in computer games um, to you know, add items, remove items, and we can also use them, uh, as we will do next uh, session, is to actually search for items to see if they actually exist in our backpack. Uh, uh, but as I say, you know, we've got a backpack here, but you can also, you know, you could have something like uh, exam uh, scores um, for students, okay? And we could do that, so we could have a whole load of exam scores that students have got. This time, they're not strings, they are integers. So we don't use speech marks. So I could say, I don't know, someone got 89, uh, someone else got 23, uh, 45, 65, you know, 12. And so you can have a list containing integers as well. And I will also show you next session about how not only can we um, display and print those out, but how we can use um, lists uh, and for loops to start adding up 
uh, the content of uh, integers that are in a list as well. All right, and now we could even find the average of all those numbers as well. There's a lot of different clever things that we can do with lists, uh, but this is just the start. So what I would like you to do today is practice this technique here, okay? You can make a list of anything you want. It could be a list of items for a game, okay? As I say, it could be a list of names. Uh, it could be a list of numbers like I've done here, okay? And I would like you to practice printing out different indexes, okay? We call it an index. This is index one, index two, index zero. Printing out different indexes from your list. I'd like you to swap or replace an item in your list with something else. I'd like you to append, okay, this thing here, add one on to the end, all right? And also practice removing a particular item from your list as well. Okay, all right, enjoy guys.